Another story that makes you ask the question, what in the hell were you thinking? Hey everybody, welcome back to this episode of Big Sexy News with Views. Woman gets head stuck in exhaust pipe. Hey, my head could probably fit in that. She remembers thinking. <laughs> I like that truck tub. A Minnesota woman had a memorable time at a music festival this past weekend. But no one would blame her if she'd rather forget it. That's a normal feeling when you get your head stuck in a truck's exhaust pipe for 45 minutes. Well, that ain't no shit. Now, if I had to guess, I'm saying immaturity and plenty of alcoholic beverages or just plump stupidity and you know well it could go either way Caitlin Strom was at the Winstock Country Music Festival in the town of Winstead on Friday when she decided to go where a few people have gone before we were all just having fun and I saw this big exhaust pipe and I was like Hey, my head could probably fit in that, she told the Hutchinson leader. So I tried it. It did fit, but it didn't want to come back out. <laughs> Strom estimated she spent 45 minutes inside the pipe and said she was finally rescued when firefighters used a power saw. According to Minneapolis, WCCO TV. Although she was unharmed by her close encounter with the inside of the tailpipe, the McLeod County Sheriff's Office cited her for underage drinking, according to the Associated Press. Well, well, just as I thought. Immaturity and that pesky alcoholic beverage are the culprits. Well, I read the story before, so I told a little fib. Don't you judge me, though. 100% disclosure. She was escorted from the festival once she was free. But her exhausting experience lives on thanks to the video posted on Facebook, which has been viewed more than 2.3 million times as of Wednesday afternoon. A lot of people don't realize how serious it was, she told the leader. So it's kind of expected when it's blasted on the internet that you're going to get negative comments. Some people can really be cruel. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Don't do stupid things. Personally, I would have started that truck and blew you out of there like unwanted pus in a pimple. One person, she said, was surprisingly kind was Tom Wools of Darwin, the owner of the truck. I did not know him, but everyone who was around me knew him, she told the paper. He was wonderful. I remember getting my head unstuck, and I just looked at him and apologized. And he said, no, I'm just glad you're okay. Don't worry about it. He has already fixed his exhaust and is going to be working on that. I did not have to pay him for anything like that because he's absolutely wonderful. She posted a photo of herself and Wolves on Saturday where she owned up to the experience. Well, I think first she had an infatuation with the truck and now with the owner. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button. And don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button and that little bell next to it. I hope you had a great day. And as always, until next time, bye-bye.